Hello, family. Well, today we're making pasta vaso. Mm. And in our family, we make two types. We make a red, and with the red, we use a can of northern beans, a can of the tomato sauce, it's about eight ounces, some garlic, and oil. And then after that's all made, we add a cup of ditalini macaroni. And for the white sauce, we use cannellini beans, and we use garlic, a little oil, and we make a sauce with the white beans. We add ditalini to that, and you've got your pasta vazul, two kinds. The red comes from southern Italy, the white comes from northern Italy, and they're both delicious. So enjoy your family. Today I'm making two different kinds of pasta vazul which most people know it's pasta fagioli, but we call it pasta vazul. And I'm making the white kind first, and I'm putting in three cloves of garlic into the chopper. I don't chop it too fine because I want that flavor to be there. So, now this one goes in this one. Okay, that's one. Now I'm going to chop the garlic for the red sauce. Just want to make sure I get all of it out. I don't want to waste any of it. It's so good. Can you smell it? No, you can't, but I can. Now the first one I'm going to start, as I said, is the white because that takes a little bit longer and it has to thicken up. So we're going to put a little bit of olive oil, my favorite oil. I'm going to take this over to the stove now and I'm going to brown it. And I brown my garlic that it's almost burnt because I like that flavor. So we'll put this on the stove and we'll do that right now. You have to watch it because we don't want it to burn. Okay, we could keep it going. And while we're browning that, I'm going to open up the white can of beans. They're cannellini beans that I use for this one. And I throw the juice and the beans in because that's what thickens up the sauce. Let me go check my garlic. Got to constantly watch it because it'll start to stick or it could burn. We don't want it to burn. Like I said, I just want it to get a nice dark brown. Mmm. I smell it already. All right, I'm going to add the beans now. And I'm going to add a can of water to this. And this is what makes the sauce for the uh, ditalini. I got to let it boil. See how thin it is now? As this cooks, the beans will thicken up, and then you, once you add the ditalini, it works out fine. Okay. Got to wait for it to boil. Meanwhile, I'm going to put the water on for the macaroni. Always, always, always salt the water. Usually it's in my hands, but I sprinkled it in today. Well, now the beans are starting to bubble, and I'm going to let them cook for a little while because. This has to thicken a little bit more. See, it's, it's still a little bit too thin. So while this is going, we'll go start on the red sauce now. All right, now this has to brown the same way. And I'm putting in three cloves of garlic. Put two tablespoons of olive oil. I'll open the beans and the, and the sauce in the meantime. Now, as you can see, this is a completely different type of beans. This is a smaller beans. It's called Great Northwestern Beans. Now on this one, I add the tomato first and let it brown a little bit with the garlic so this way it gets the flavor of the garlic and the tomato sauce. When that starts to boil and I let it go for maybe about five minutes, then I add the beans. So as soon as this is ready, we're going to add the red sauce. And I use these little cans of tomato because I find it's just enough. I'm cooking basically for two people. I mean, you can increase this if you want to make it for more, but right now this is just for two people. Okay, now it's ready, and now I'm going to add the tomato sauce.
I always add everything to a hot pot because I like to see it bubble up right away. Now we just do this. I'm going to let this go for about five minutes so this way it starts to blend. And then I'll add the beans. Now with this red sauce, it depends on how you like it. Some people like it soupier and some people like it a little drier. So I sort of make it in between. And I have another trick that I'm going to show you when I drain the macaroni. I always put a bowl underneath the dra strainer so that if I need more water, I, got, I have the thickness of the macaroni that cooked in the water and it thickens up right away. By the way, I didn't put any onion in this. A lot of people put onion instead of garlic, but I prefer garlic in mine. Okay, time to add the beans. So now I just dump the beans right in. A can of water. See, now this is much soupier, look. But this will cook down a little bit. I'm going to put it on a higher flame so it starts to boil. Now when the ditalini is done, I'm going to cut it in half and I'm going to add half to the white sauce and half to the red sauce. And now I'm going to raise the water so it, we can get the ditalini going. Okay, the water's boiling. I'm going to add the ditalini now. And when I cook the ditalini, I cook it about 10 minutes. Strain it. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some of this to the red sauce. Has to have a certain consistency. This is good. See, this is soupy. This is how most people like it. Now I'm going to put this back in this pot. In the sink, and I'm going to add the white sauce to this one. Mm. Now I'm adding red pepper to the red pasta azul, just a little bit, give it a little flavor. That's it. So here's the white sauce, and here's the red sauce. And that's pasta fagiolo. When you serve this, you can serve it with a nice loaf of Italian bread. It's delicious. And I have some Locatelli cheese, which is the good cheese. And I put a little bit on each one, and it gives it a little more flavor. So enjoy it, and have a healthy meal. Mangia, figlia mia. I'm going to taste the red. Mm. That's good. I'm going to taste the white. That's good too. Mm -hmm. 